question number one of the seminar sheet was a sample is suspended in water and an object therein um, is observed at a certain distance um, from the slide. So this is your glass slide and this is water. Now we've got a few rays coming from a point in the sample and we're going to see how they carry on into glass. So the normal on the interface, I think these normals are always perpendicular on the interface between glass and water. So if I look at this ray, it comes straight on along here, it will travel straight on. But it's perpendicular to the normal to the surface along the normal. The next one would travel through if there's no interface whatsoever, it would want to travel in a way straight on like that. Now there's an interface, so it will now be either bent towards or away from the normal. In this case, it's entering from water into glass and up to denser medium. So it goes into a denser medium, that beam will be bent towards the normal. So it won't travel like that, but will travel like that. So bent towards the normal. The same will happen over on this side, we'll just move the label. We're going to travel in this direction when we bend towards the normal. So we'll have the light now traveling in this direction. Both bend towards the normal. They're sort of at, traveling at the same directions, same angles left and right. So it's just offset into different directions where they sort of bend. That's the ray as it's sort of um, asking the part A to construct. Our B is now viewing from the glass side where do these beams seem to come from. You can't see if you're on that side that the beam has undergone a bending, a refraction. So what you seem to see is that this beam of light seems to come from this direction. This beam of light seems to come from this direction. This beam of light seems to come from this direction. Overall, it seems that all these beams come from this point. In reality, it comes from this point. So it looks like now, us having an interface from water into glass, into your slide, that you've now created um, an object that you're looking at that's seeming further down in your sample, which is a result from refraction. 